Hi, I'm Bill McClester with CastCrate.com. We recently added the Yellow Box Pro switching box to our equipment for live streaming. We needed a way to attach accessories such as wireless receivers, microphones, external battery packs, and things of that nature to the Yellow Box. So the solution we came up with was a do-it-yourself partial cage. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of what we actually came up with. We've got some follow-on videos, one showing you how to actually procure the parts and assemble the partial cage, another video showing you how to add a sunshade to it for less than $20, and another video showing you how you can add some extra accessories that will make it even more versatile. In this video, like I stated, we're just going to go over what we came up with for a solution so you can see how we're actually uh, applying it. So here we have the partial cage attached to the yellow box. The box attaches to the cage with just a quarter inch 20 tripod screw that comes with one of the mounts and use the built-in threaded socket on the yellow box. So it's really easy to attach the box. You don't have to assemble the frame around the box. The frame is made from machined aluminum parts along with 15 millimeter carbon rods. You can also use 15 millimeter aluminum rods and save a few dollars in the project. Uh, it's really just how you want to do it, or you may even actually have some of these parts laying around. I, I had some of these parts in my uh, camera kit. So we have it sitting up like this. You can add as many cold shoes as you want for attaching accessories. That's one of the easy ways to do it. Also, the cage has 3 8 and quarter 20 threaded holes along the top and along the bottom. Uh, most of these accessories use standard quarter 20 uh, screws. We use screws that came with a lot of these parts and some of the other cheese plates we had and stuff so we didn't have to buy any extra. Um, this is a top and bottom plate that we bought. Uh, you can adjust it a lot. We've added a backbone to it. This is another extended cheese plate. It gives you some rigidity like a backbone so that when you're actually pressing on the yellow box touchscreen it gives it a little bit of support. It also provides extra mounting positions and places to uh, add other attachments. You can attach more items to the bottom. You can also attach it to a tripod or a clamp, things like that to hold the box the way you want to. On the top, you can add camera mounts, um, light mounts, stuff like that. We've attached the yellow box so that the cables come out of the bottom, but you can actually do it either way. You know, there's a screen rotate function on the yellow box, so that's what we're doing. Uh, just in my mind, it'll be better for the cables coming out of the bottom, less uh, strain on them. Because, you know, at castcrate.com, we CNC machine stands and boxes for uh, ATEM minis, things like that. And so we can easily machine a cable clamp that'll actually take the stress off the cables. Having it in the standard way where your cables are coming out of the top, you have your cables drooping over, and that puts a lot of side pressure on the HDMI jacks, which HDMI jacks are notorious for becoming loose and then giving you connection problems.